On this episode of America's Forests, we journey west to the state of Oregon. Oregon is blessed with trees. Nearly 50% of the land here is forest. The people of Oregon are embracing new ways of engaging with the woods all around them. In Portland, they're building skyscrapers from timber. In Bend, they're fighting fire with fire. And on the Sayuslaw National Forest, they're bringing back the salmon and making the forest healthier at the same time. Hi, I'm Chuck Lavelle. You know, in addition to my beautiful family, there's two things in my life that I have a special interest in and love for, music and trees. My wife, Rose Lane, and I own and manage our own forest land right here in Georgia, Shore Lane Plantation. We grow southern yellow pine as well as other species here. And you know, as I get to travel the world with the Rolling Stones or some of the other artists that I'm so privileged to work with, I get to meet all kind of folks that also have a passion and love for trees, forests, and the outdoors. And now I get to share their stories with you. So join me as we journey through America's forests. <laughs> I have a question for you. Have you ever imagined a skyscraper being built out of wood instead of steel and concrete? Well, it seems impossible, doesn't it? But guess what? Out in Oregon, the impossible is becoming possible. New innovations in lumber technology are making the dream of truly green buildings come true. From the farmer's markets to the streetcars, the city of Portland has built a reputation for sustainability. And now it's adding another feather into its green cap, leading the way in building high rises with wood. This is Albina Yard, a brand new four-story complex that is all about being local. Thomas Robinson is the project architect. Pretty much everything you see here was either grown or fabricated in Oregon. The sourcing is important. I mean, the idea that we can actually source the beams, the window systems also made here, even the hardware for the glass, the idea that you can actually kind of leverage those local resources to, to really kind of drive economic development locally, it's, it's really important. A key ingredient to sustainability at Albina Yard is the use of an innovative type of building material called cross-laminated timber, or CLT. This is a three-ply panel of cross-laminated timber, and it's really what Albina Yard is made out of. So you can see it's a series of uh, two by um, eight timbers. So yeah. you can see one here, and you can see one there. And then it's laminated in a crosswise pattern. You can sort of see the end grain there. Right. And then there's another layer on the bottom. And that creates the panels that, you know, make up the building. Can I pick this up? Yeah, you can try. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> God. Woo! Wow! That is heavy. That is yeah. hefty. It's incredibly strong. To understand how CLT is made, I traveled a few hours south of Portland to D.R. Johnson Lumber, a family business run by Valerie Johnson. CLT has been used in Japan and Europe for more than a decade. But in the United States, D.R. Johnson is the first mill to make architectural grade CLT panels. By the way, I want to thank you for this very cool outfit here. You know, I'm thinking, uh, what do you think? Maybe I could wear this on stage with the stones? Would that, or maybe I should, maybe I should just join the village people. Now you're talking, that'd be the perfect place for it. You look like a natural. Y-M-C-A. <laughs> <laughs> we maybe should adapt a song to that for CLTs. What do you think? CLT. We could, we CLT. could work that. CLT. <laughs> this is our CLT plant. It's where the new magic happens. 
Layup section is here to our right. They lay a layer longitudinally down and then they run the glue extruder over it. Then the short pieces come down, they run the glue extruder over that again, and we put another layer of long pieces on top of it. And we can go three limbs deep, five limbs deep, and seven limbs. All the way up to yep, seven. We can. And this is the machine. This right? is the press. Once it's the glue is laid up, it rolls into the press. The press compresses it to yeah, get all of the space out of it. Down. We get both sides, ends, and down. Once you compress all that wood together with the glue, it's as strong as anything you can imagine. Well, it is. You've got all the strength of the wood fiber running both directions. 